Well, I can imagine that some of you who saw the step-by-step -step soap making video that I did wouldn't mind having a closer look at the things that I made in the shop that helped me take my soap making from really small 15 bar batches up to batches of almost 100 bars. The first is the soap mold. The second is the loaf cutter. And the last thing is the bar slicer. And we'll start out by taking a close look here at this soap mold. Okay, the mold is made out of three quarter inch plywood. We've got two ends, two sides, and then an additional little reinforcing strip about two inches high along the top edges of the sides. And three pieces of quarter inch all thread on each end help to cinch this tightly together while the soap is drying. You'll also notice there's a base down in there. We'll have a close look at that in just a second. And that base happens to be held with pieces of all thread too. All right, now my other mold here I've got taken apart so you can see the pieces a little better. This is the base. Again, three quarter inch plywood, a pair of ends, a pair of sides, and a top piece that has these grooves in it that allow the wires from the loaf cutter to bed down below the surface uh, when you're cutting your loaves of soap. Now, if you want to make something that's the same dimension that I've made, and again, I've got these designed for bars of soap that are two and a quarter inches by three inches by an inch and a quarter. Here are some dimensions. We've got a width of seven and an eighth inches, a length of 12 and 1 16th inches, wouldn't you know it? And this base is exactly three inches tall. And you'll see how this base works when I take the side off of this other mold that I've got. Again, four pieces of plywood, dados here to accept the edges of these ends, and this is what the base looks like inside. And again, if I can hold this together, there are holes in the sides that go through and hold this base tightly. Now, one last dimension you might be interested in is what's the height of this side down to the top of the base and it looks like it's 11 and 7 eighths of an inch. That's not too critical because I only fill the soap goop up to about here. But with my recipe and with my size of bars, that's how I make this mold. Okay, let me just get this out of the way and show you just a few more details here. First of all, what are the exterior dimensions? It's exactly 16 inches wide and exactly 15 inches tall. And you'll notice too that where the all thread goes through, there is a bit of a lip on this, each of the sides and this is one and a quarter inches. And then again, three pieces of all thread spaced evenly. Now, on the bottom, this all thread that goes through and holds the base on tightly while the soap is setting up, I've got to be honest with you, I never use these anymore. I did for the first year, but I, I found that the pieces here on the sides, these three pieces, held everything tightly enough that I didn't have to fiddle with these things. Okay, let me get these out of the way so we can go to the next important device and that is the loaf cutter. And you've seen this in action if you watch the soap video. It simply pushes down on that big block and because it's got 12 subdivisions created by this wire here, 
it makes the loaves that then get cut up into bars. So let me show you the bottom side first. You'll see that it's made up of three quarter inch plywood, just like the mold. We've got a pair of ends. We've got a pair of sides. And one thing to note here is that the sides extend past the ends by about two inches here. And the wires are positioned in such a way that they create rectangles the exact size of a bar of soap, two and a quarter by three. Well, what about this wire? It's really just music wire. And it comes in a spool like this. It's really strong and it's really thin. I have broken a few of these uh, over the years, but they're easy to replace. And those wires are held in place by just guitar tuning pegs. They come through really small, like 16th inch diameter holes that I drilled in these edges. Come through and get attached and you can tune these things up to tighten the wires. The other ends of these I just have held with these. This happened to be some miscellaneous hardware I had in the shop, but they're just kind of a stud. You could use just a regular wood screw to hold the, the, the ends of these wires. So there's three that go across this dimension. And then there's two that go across the long dimension. And again, tuning pegs here. And to hold the back side of those, I just looped. I've got a, these, these pieces of hardware again. Just brought one end over, looped it around, and brought it through so I didn't have to tie off two separate pieces of wire. Okay, and now one last thing here. Let me give you the dimensions from outside to outside. And for the width, we've got 12 and 5 eighths. And for the length, we've got 17 and 5 eighths. And the dimension inside is exactly the same as the dimension of the soap mold base. And that is 7 and an eighth by 12 and a sixteenth. Okay. And one other thing that might be helpful here is, let me put the base down. And we can just imagine that this is coming down through the block of soap. And you can see how these wires go right in between and go down below that surface. So here's what it looks like on the back side. And that's done. All right, two down, one to go. And this one's my favorite. This is the bar slicer, again with wires and tuning pegs. And here's how it works. There is a frame that's attached to a base with a big piano hinge here. And the base consists of a flat piece of plywood and a raised platform with grooves cut in the plywood platform that correspond to the locations of these wires. So that when this hinges down, it cuts the bars of soap. And the wires, of course, are spaced to the width of a bar of soap. So you put a loaf, a soap loaf in here, put that down, and then you've got eight bars of soap at a time. Okay, quick look at measurements now. On the side frame, we've got 10 and 3 quarters wide and 9 inches tall. Going around to the back side, almost 14 and a half inches. And this piece that goes in between the two ends is five inches tall. Then the base is 16 inches by exactly 12 inches. And this little raised platform 
which comes up an uh, inch and a quarter, is 12 and a half inches by five inches. And of course, the grooves in the top part of this raised platform correspond to the widths of the bars of soap and allow these wires to go down about an eighth of an inch below the surface. But perhaps the most magic happens here with the tuning pegs and the wires and how they create the proper spacing for the bars of soap. There's eight wires and I was really careful to space them consistently so that they would make the bars of soap consistent. And the tuning pegs go through this piece of wood right here again spaced properly and then the wires attached to the tuning pegs it's again just music wire they go through little 1 16th of an inch diameter holes through this piece of wood and a wire goes down goes through a 16th of an inch diameter hole in this piece of wood and around the back side you can see that a wire comes through one hole, crosses over to the next hole, and goes back to that neighboring tuning peg. And then another one comes through, goes over, and goes back to its neighbor. So there's sort of four pairs here. One good thing to take note of here is just how high off the surface of the base are the wires. And it turns out it's one inch. You can see that this piece of wood that the wires go through back here is raised up from the bottom of the end piece about a half inch or so. And then when these wires go through the loaves, they go into the channels and they go down about an eighth of an inch below that surface, allowing the loaves to be cut cleanly into bars. Okay, that's a quick look at the bar slicer and the loaf cutter and the big mold. And these three things have really helped me go from making small batches of soap to making larger batches. And I hope it's helpful to you too. Now, there will be links in the description of this video that talk about where to get the supplies, the tuning pegs, the wires, anything else that you might need. And if you've appreciated what you've seen, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because there will be more coming. And thanks so much. I sure appreciate you watching.